There is basics that we believe that God is going indeed to bless our lives. Hallelujah. Pwede bang batay mo yung katabi mo with a good smile and say, I'm blessed you're here today. Yes, you're here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, we're blessed because we are in the presence of the Lord. We are in the house of the Lord. So yung mga upuan po natin, the secret na ma-fill up natin yung mga upuan. May mga bakan ka dito, Sister Leone. And uh, baka mayroong mga short pa dyan. Uh, wala nang mga upuan dyan. Dito po sa harapan niya. Meron tayong few announcements. So, our service, uh, our services this coming uh, December 31 will be by uh, Thursday. So, meron mo tayong uh, December 30, Sunday schedule ko. December 31 will be our uh, New Year service. Yan po yung ating uh, salubo. And it will be at, uh, that is Thursday. Okay? So Thursday po yan. Makilagyan ng Thursday para ma-remind sila that December 31 is Thursday. And cancel po yung uh, Wednesday natin na service. Uh, ang ating regular service na Wednesday will be canceled. It will be moved to Thursday, that is December 31. Okay, at 10 p.m. ho, gagawin po natin. And we will wait, we will we will pray and praise the Lord because we will be waiting for the coming of the 2021. Ano po, and we will declare. Magdideklara tayo ng pagpapala ng Panginoon. Amen? So we will be praying for our families, for our job, for for the blessing of the Almighty God. So yan po ay atin pong... Uh, uh, sasalubungin ng taon ng may pananampalataya at pananalangin. Also, yung atin pong uh, regular service ng Wednesday ng 23. Okay? This coming 23 is regular. May mga nagtatanong. Regular po yung ating service ng 23. Okay? Wednesday po yan. And also, we will be having our uh, what else? The other? Yung ating ministry uh, heads meeting Uh, gagawin po natin sa uh, ano yan? Ministry Head Meeting po natin December 27 okay, December 27 we move it to December 27 also yung atin pong mga uh, men, we will be having a, a Christmas party that is December 25 7.30pm and also we will be having couples the next day December 26, so lahat po ng mga couples you are all invited okay and uh, tayo po ay magsa-celebrate ng uh, celebration ng ating Panginoon. Yung mga uh, mag magiging couples pa lang, huwag na muna kayo. Ito na ba kayo? <laughs> okay. So yan po yung ating mga announcement. Okay, wala na ba akong na-miss? So mamaya po, tuloy-tuloy po yung ating Christmas party. We will have our lunch. And after our lunch, I itutuloy na po natin yung ating uh, Christmas celebration. Pagkatapos po yung evening service natin, itutuloy natin kasi maraming mga kapatid pa rin na nasa work ngayon na hindi sila nakarating. So we, we don't want them to miss the word of the Lord. Kaya tuloy po yung 7.30 uh, service po natin. Puloy ng Panginoon. Yan po yung ating mga announcement. Wow, we only have 11 days left. Ano? 11 days na lamang and the year 2020 is over. But, you know, while we are still in this year, looking back to what God had done, aren't you blessed that you're still alive? Amen. <laughs> we are blessed because we know that what God had promised in our lives will come to pass. And I believe that this, re this is the reason why He had given us this uh, team for this month, Hope. Kasi po, anuman yung mga situation natin ngayon, maraming mga nangyari na hindi natin inaasahan. Maraming mga bakasyon na hindi mo naibakasyon. Maraming mga rebooking. Maraming mga uh, plano na hindi po naganap. Why? Because God wants to remind us that He is still God and that He do whatever you wish. And when He permitted these things to happen, 
maraming buong bansa, they were able to recognize that they cannot just do anything by themselves. Kaya ho, maraming mga pagpapakasal na hindi natuloy ngayong taon na ito. Pero meron naman mga engranding celebration sana yung kanilang kasal pero nauwi sa parang ano tawag doon yung civil wedding ano limang katao lamang na doon yung pastor yung kopol at saka dalawang witnesses ano yun din yung mga supposed to be kakasal ko nung nung April dalawa yung ikakasal ko sana noon pero uh, yung isa talagang ang grande yung kanilang uh, gagawin sa bagyo sana pero uh, nauwi sa limang tao lang ano Maraming plans tayo. Sabi po ng Bible sa Proverbs 19.21, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord's purpose prevails. It is the Lord's purpose that prevails. May mga plano tayo, may mga bagay tayong gustong gawin. But if you're going to look at it, ang Diyos pa rin ang siyang nasusunod sa mga bagay-bagay bagay, bagay sa buhay po natin. One of my family goal this year supposed to be is to go back uh, by this uh, uh, August sana and to minister to our loved ones doon po sa Parikagayan. But it, it did not happen. And you know, we, we, we have plans but nevertheless God's purpose prevails. It is God's plan that prevails. But you know what is amazing is that God has given us hope. Ito po yung pinakamahalagang bagay na meron po tayo. Kaya sabi po ni Paul sa Romans 5 verse 5, And hope does not disappoint us. He does not disappoint us because God has poured out His love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom He has given us. If you have hope in Christ, you will never be disappointed. Hindi, hindi ka hindi disappoint ng Panginoon. That's why we have learned last week about God as an Anchor of our hope. Siya yung angkla. Sa kanya naka-angkla ang ating kaluluwa sa pag-asang meron tayong Diyos na makapangyarihan na siyang nagko-control, na siyang nakakaalam ng mabuti at mga bagay, magagandang bagay sa buhay po natin. This is why when we're going through many hardships today, we have to anchor our hope in the Lord. Atin pong iasa pa rin ang ating mga inaasahan sa Panginoon. Huwag natin iasa sa tao. Huwag natin iasa sa employer. Huwag natin iasa sa mga mayroon po tayong mga material na bagay o sa mga nalalaman po natin. Iasa natin sa Panginoon. Because when we put our hope in God, just as the Bible said, the hope and hope does not disappoint us. It won't disappoint us. Whether that is sickness, whether that is marital problem, whether that is hope for the future, God will not disappoint you. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, God will never disappoint you. Amen? That's why you are in the right place. And right now, I'm going to share about the power of hope. And let us all stand as we read our text in Romans chapter 8, verse 24. As we read our text, Romans 8, verse 24 to 25. Let's all read. One, two, go, four. We were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that you bless our words today, Lord. Your word that will be preached today. I pray that your, your Holy Spirit will be our speaker. We ask, Lord God, that you will reveal to us your plans and your good purposes to each and every one of us. So that when we receive your word, it may bring blessing to us, Father God. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, Lord. And may you be honored and be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may all be seated. Hallelujah. The power of hope. I'm going to share with you the power of hope. The power of hope. The power of hope. Now here Paul was saying that hope is for something that isn't seen. Something that is not present. When we say hope, you're hoping for something you have not yet seen. Wala pang, uh, wala pang 
wala pang bagay na pagpapa o sabihin natin na uh, walang ta- tangible na 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 masasabi natin na nakikita natin yung bagay na yun. But hope is something that we only know it in our mind. But we know that it is there. And we hope that it will certainly come to pass. Once it becomes present kasi, it's no longer hope. Pag sinabi na andyan na pala yung iyong inaasahan, it's no longer hope. So hope is something that is not yet present. Hope is something that we do not see yet. And but you believe in it. Naniniwala ka na meron at naroroon siya. So hope means you're looking at something that you could not see but believing it, it will certainly come because you have faith in God. Amen. Dahil may pananampalataya ka, yung pang-asa o yung inaasahan mo na yun, alam mo mangyayari. Because faith is the assurance of things we hope for and certainty of things we do not see. Si Abraham, sa Romans chapter 4, sabi niya, and he calls the things that are not as though they were. Abraham confesses what he hoped for as if it is already there. Idinitik na niya, ah, pagkakaanak ako. Idinitik na niya, ay, sasaga na ang buhay ko. Magiging ama ako ng maraming lahi. You know, he is declaring it. He calls the things that are not as though they were. Even though he couldn't see it yet and his situation is negative, nevertheless, he still hopes it will come to pass. Amen. Sino may mga inaasahan sa lahat ng taon? Amen. Sino may mga inaasahan na bago matapos ang taon ay matatamasa mo yung iyong mga inaasahan? You know, that is hoping for something that you do not see yet. But Abraham calls the things that are not as though they were. Iba yung umaasa lamang na, kagaya na pag-aralan natin, hope is not just a wishful thinking, wish ko lang sana mangyari ito, or is not just a positive thinking, basta alam ko mangyayari ito, or is not just even an optimism, or you're just playing, uh, thinking positively, uh, and believing in the positive side ng, ng situation na yan, na mapapas sa iyo. But hope, depends on the promises. Hope is anchored in the Word of God. Naka-ankla siya sa salita ng Panginoon. And that is what made Abraham hopeful. That even though he was already 75 years old, he can still bear a child. He can still have son. Magkakaanak pa siya. Dahil, dahil ang pinangahawa ka niya, hindi yung situation, kundi yung pangako ng Diyos sa buhay niya. Mga kapatid, isang magandang paalala sa atin, yung mga salita ng Panginoon na natutunan natin, na papakinggan natin, ay ating tanggapin sa ating mga spirita. Receive them and believe them in your spirit and it will come to pass. Because the word of the Lord is powerful and effective. It penetrates even to the dividing of your soul and your spirit, your bone and marrow. It judges the thought of man. So meaning the word of God is alive. It is active. Kaya po, meron itong ginagawa sa buhay ng tao. And so therefore, let us believe in hope that everything in accordance to the will of God will come to reality. Kaya po, there is power in hope. That's why I have entitled my message, Power of Hope. Now, why hope is powerful? Paano naging powerful ang hope? First and foremost, because with hope, we are sustained. Ang pag-asa ang siya nagsusustine sa ating buhay. Sinabi ni Paul sa verse 24 a, For we were saved in this hope. Naligtas tayo sa pag-asa ito. Now the word saved simply means we are kept, we are preserved, we are sustained in our trials by hope. Meaning to say, kahit may trials tayo, sino bang walang trials? Sino bang walang hardship? Sino bang walang suffering? Sino bang hindi dumadaan sa mga sitwasyon? Lahat tayo dumadaan. But God, through this hope, sustains us. Napapanatili tayo. Kaya yung katabi mo nga ngayon, kaya nandiyan ba yan, pinananatili siya ng Diyos. In other words, it is our hope that even when we are in this midst of situation, 
napapanatili tayo. May pag-asang ang Diyos ay hindi nakakalimot sa atin. Ang pag-asang tayo ay mayroong uh, magandang kinabukasan at matatapos din ang pandemya ito. Yeah. Na tayo maasang ibabalik din ng Diyos anumang mga sinira, ninakaw o kinitil ni Satanas sa buhay mo, ibabalik ng Panginoon. Yeah. Because God is a God of restoration. Yeah. When, when He restore, He restores sevenfold, sabi ng Bible. Higit doon sa iyong bagay na nawala. Pitong ulit pang i-restore ng Panginoon. Remember when Naaman was uh, the Naaman the, the the leper when he was restored his his um, uh, his skin was restored. Sabi ko and it was restored as the skin of a baby. Wow. Yung yung nasirang sinira ng ng kinurap ng uh, leprosy na yon na, na body ni Naaman ibinalik ng Panginoon. Nung ibinalik ni Lord Sabi niya gano'n, naging kutis bata. Kaya yung katabi mo, baka nire-restore ni Lord. Ang lahat ng mga bagay na nire-restore ng Panginoon, mas maganda kaysa sa una. Di ba? Para may kasabi niya tayo, love is sweeter the second time around. Di ba? So parang lahat ng mga bagay na binabalik ng Panginoon, pero other than that, He sustains us. Sino sustain kanya para hindi ka lubos ang mawala? Sino sustain kanya para hindi ka lubos ang masaglak? Are we here? So God, didn't you understand that God is just sustaining us today? Umagot tayo ng ilang months ng pandemya ito. Who ever know na ganito pala katindi? Ngayon may third wave sa, sa Germany, nag-lockdown, total lockdown ng buong bansa. Na nahimik na si Lord, and yet, bumalik na naman. Kinakapinangangambahan na yun sa Pilipinas, yung pagdami o paglobo ulit ngayong, ngayong Christmas season. Kaya maraming mga, may mga dinagdag silang restriction, yung mga 17 years old and below, wag munang lumabas. Ngayong, ngayong season na ito ng Christmas season. Kasi napoforsee ng mga, uh, ng, ng mga medical experts na tataas at tataas do lobo. Bakit? Kasi may mga magbibidyoke na naman. Kaya pinagbawal ang bidyoke. Ano, sa pilip? Kasi daw yung talsik lumalawa ay yung lawa yung mga talsik. Eh, sabi nung sa DOH, eh, pwede naman nung kumanta, basta nakamas at naka nakapasyo. Ano mang kakanta lang naka gano'n? Oh. So, di ba ba? Merong mga restrictions. Merong mga bagay na hindi natin masasabi, hindi natin makokontrol. But you know what? The mere fact that God is sustaining us, that we are sustained, we are blessed. Yeah. Di ba? Even though yung kita mo medyo bumaba, nawalan ka ng kita ng mga ilang buwan, hindi lang limang buwan hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin kita. Pero sinusustain ka ng Panginoon. Because yeah. God is our sustainer. Diba? And so that is what we must be sure of because our God is the God of hope. In Syriac version, this phrase tells us, for by hope we live. Sabi niya, yung Syriac version is the first um, uh, salin ng Bible sa Old Testament and New Testament na ginagamit noon. Ang, ang ginawa nila, for by hope we live nabubuhay tayo sa pag-asa. Kaya nga po, import, importante tayo ay nabubuhay sa pag-asa because it means that by hope, we are being preserved. Hope is our sustainer in the midst of season of pandemic and it enables us to bear all the difficulties without complaint. Without complaint. You know, that is what it means to have hope in the Lord. You don't complain. We just thank God yes. that you're still survived. Yes. We just thank God that you're still here. That is what it means to have hope in the Lord. And we know that all these things that is happening, God has a purpose. Yes. Sabi ng Romans, oh, uh, sorry, in Exodus chapter 10, verse 1, 
Verse 10 to sabi niya, The Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened this heart, and this heart, and the heart of his officials, so that I may perform these miraculous signs of mine among them. And verse 10 sabi niya, That you may tell your children and grandchildren how I dealt harshly with the Egyptians, and how I performed many signs among them, that you may know that I am the Lord. You know, kaya pala pinadaan, ni Lord ang mga Israelites sa sampung plagues sa sa Egypt. Dumaan sa sampung plagues. But there is a message na gusto niyang ituro ng mga Israelita sa kanilang mga anak at kaapu-apuhan that they may know that I am the Lord. That they may know that I sustained you. That they may know that even though you've been through a lot of plagues, I sustained you. And you must tell them what I did for you because I will also do it to them. I will sustain them as well. Isn't that wonderful? That God's purpose, may purpose si Lord itong mga nangyari ito. Pagdating ng panahon, sabi mo sa anak mo, anak, pag may dumadaan siyang problema, anak, manatili ka lang sa Panginoon. Ako nga eh, halos isang taon wala akong sa trabaho sa Macau, pero sinustay naman ng Panginoon. May mga nagbibigay ng ayuda. <laughs> Mamaya nga may ayuda na naman, no? <laughs> and so this is what God tells us that hope through hope in Christ we are being sustained sabi po ng Romans 8.28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose this is one of my life verse God has a purpose. May nangyayari sa buhay mo? God has a purpose. May inalaw ang Panginoon sa buhay mo? God has a purpose. Laging may layunin ang Panginoon eh. Sabi niya, that they may know and we know that in all things that God works for the good of those who love Him, who are called by my name according to His good and purpose. Kaya nga po mga kapatid, ang trials na pinagdadaanan po natin, may be so great, but hope will enable us to bear them. Hope will make us become patient and to sustain in this great situation. Si David nga, sabi ni David sa Psalms 3 verse 5, I lie down and sleep. I wait again because the Lord sustains me. Because the Lord sustains me. Yung the mere fact na gumising ka sa umagat nito, because the Lord sustains you. He sustained us. Kaya nga po, mga kapatid, magpasalamat tayong palagi sa mga bagay na ginagawa ng Panginoon sa buhay po natin. Why did they, uh, David say, said this? He knows that it, God is his sustainer. Kaya po, mga kapatid, sa umano nito, I want to remind you, God sustains you. Sabi mo sa kapatid mo, God sustains you. <laughs> So let us hope in God. Amen. The second thing why hope is powerful, hope gives us courage in hard times. Sino dumadaan po sa difficult times na in life? You know, when you are going through difficult times, hope will give us courage. So verse 24, B, sabi niya, but hope that is sin is not hope. For why does not does one still hope for what he sees? People normally are pro problem solver. Pag ang tao mayroong pinagdadaanan, gusto niya marisolve agad yung problema na yun. Gagawa siya ng solusyon. By all means, bakit? Kasi ayaw natin na dumadaan tayo sa difficulties. Ayaw natin na dumadaan tayo sa mga sitwasyon ng buhay natin. Gusto natin marisolve. Kaya, Yung mga maraming bagay na pang suporta doon sa kanilang mga problema, nakakalimutang tumawag sa Diyos. Nakakalimutang umasa sa Diyos. Kaya nga mahina man sabi po na Ecclesiastes, Panginoon, huwag mo akong sobrang pakayamanin kasi baka makalimutan kita. Pero huwag mo rin akong sobrang pakahirapin, baka sumpain kita. Isang bagay na sabi ng, ng, ng uh, writer, sabi niya, Bigyan mo na ako ng tama, Lord. 
Okay lang po yung, yung tama lang. Why? Because there is a tendency for me to forget you when I all have everything that I need. And you know why? The reason the Lord gives us troubles, allows us to experience hardship sometimes, is because He wants us to call on His name. He wants us to learn that we should not be putting our hope on those things only. We should put our hope in Him alone. And when you learn to put your hope in God, it gives you, it gives you courage. Lumalakas ang kalooban mo pag sa Diyos ka umaasin. Amen. Pansinin mo po yun. Yung sobrang hindi mo na alam yung gagawin mo sa sitwasyon mo, sa problema mo, pag sa Diyos ka umaasa, lumalakas yung loob mo. Nagkakaroon ka ng mga patotoo na ang Diyos ay totoo sa buhay mo. Ngayon, minsan meron po akong uh, may bisita kami na mga missionaries from Hong Kong, uh, from, from Korea at that time. And then, sabi ng uh, aming pastor at that time, dalhin ko sila sa Kaliraya, doon sa Laguna. Meron silang booking sa isang hotel, it is a resort, napakagandang resort. And I've never been there. Ano, hindi pa po ako napupunta ron. So, ako yung nag-drive ng van, mga labing dalawa po yung sakay ko. Kasi van na malaki yun eh. Labing dalawa yung sakay ko ng mga Koreans. Lahat sila hindi marunong mag-English. At pang nang, What's going on? What's going on? Eh, dumaan po ako ng, ng tanay. Dalawa kasi yung way doon eh. Tanay at saka doon sa South Super Highway. Di ba ba? Baya Kalamba. Nag dumaan ako ng tanay. Yun yung tinuro sa akin na daan. So, first time ko naman zigzag ko yun eh. Sa, uh, nakalimutan ko na yung pangalan, Siniloan. Okay, ito Siniloan, dadaan sa Pakil, dadaan sa Paikot ho yun. And, habang nagdadrag ako pa niyan, merong binabasa yung isa, sabi niya, oh, no, para, 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 para. <laughs> sabi ko, di ko may, bigla na, para tigil, siguro may napatigil, sabi ko, para, para, para. para. Yung nakita nila kasi medyo lip-lip yung lugar eh. So, uh, nakikiramdam na ako, pinara ko. O nagmamadali, uy, ihingihi na pala. <laughs> so, uh, meron lang sila mga Tagalog na word na sinusundan. You know? So, yun yung... Uh, para, akala ko, Korean yung para. <laughs> para pala na, so tinigil ko na. Kaya, pinakiramdam ako pala yan, so, yakay yeah, kami. So, dahan-dahan ako mag-drive kasi pagka mga guest ko ay eh, mga, siyempre, mga pastors yung mga yon, mga bishop. So, dahan-dahan ako mag-drive. At yun po ay sigsag po yun. Yung, yung distance doon na hindi naman kahaba na ito, 115 kilometers, 150 kilometers away. Uh, Kayang-kayang kunin yun eh, ng mga isang kalahating oras, dalawang oras siguro, mga gano'n. Ay, hindi naman. So, mga dalawang oras. Nakuha namin ng mga apat na oras. <laughs> Kasi dahan-dahan na talaga yung takbo. Pagdating po namin doon sa lugar, aba di paakyat na. Ah, ito na yung kaniraya. Akyat. Puro paakyat lang paakyat eh. Tapos pagdating sa taas, puro zigzag yan. Diretso, sabi ko, grabe pala to. Ang layo pala nito. Tapos din diretso lang kami, mamaya madilim na. Madilim na. Tapos sabi ko, wala ng ilaw, walang poste. So, nakadepende na ako doon sa headlight ng sasakyan. Dire-diretso lang ganyan. Kinakabahan na ako. Sabi ko, nasa tama pa ba kami kaya ang ano? Eh, hindi pa uso cellphone noon masyado. Ano? Eh, pagdating ko ganyan, rough road na. May daan pa rin, pero rough road na. Tapos wala nang, wala nang set, wala nang espalto. Madaling sabi, pagdating ko namin sa tulo, nakita ko, bundok, bundok, bundok. bundok. Nakaligyan na kami ng bundok. <laughs> Tapos, kinakabahan na ako, lakas ng kaba ko. Pagtingin ko doon sa mga, ano, sa mga gilid-gilid, lumabas ako, may mga construction materials, may mga uh, bulldozer, gano'n, mga bako. Sabi ko, dinidevelop pa lang yung lugar. Sabi ko, nasa kanina na kami. Kabakaw na na ako. Tapos yung mga, ano, akala ko nag-usap ko, oh, oh, oh. yung parang nag-speaking in tax na sila, oh, ako sa kabakaw. <laughs> akala ko nag-usap-usap lang sila ng Koreans. Kinakabahan na rin sila. <laughs> Tapos buti ba yung lumapit, yung isa sa mga nagbabantay ng mga, ng mga heavy equipment doon, sabi ko, Sir, saan mo ba kayo pupunta? 
Sabi ko, hinahanap ko yung Kaliraya Recreation Center eh. Sir, wala yun ako. Sampung kilometro na nilampas nyo. <laughs> Lumampas na ako ngayon. Ganun ba? Wala akong nakita. Sabi ko, pinabangan ko nga eh. Kasi yung sir, nasa bundok ko yun. Sabi niya, may parang itatawid ko kayo ng bangka. Meron akong balsa yun, itatawid kayo. Ah, yun ba yun? Sabi kasi nakita ko parang malayo yung ano, nasa bundok, yung lugar na yun, yung hotel. Tapos yung pala ibabal sa kayo, meron doon lake na isasaya kayo ng bangka. Ayun ba yun? Alam nyo, pagdating ho namin din yung kasama namin, yung convoy namin, nandun sila. Hinihintay kami. Sa akin nagpunta. Sabi ko, ewan mo nga eh, kung saan na kami nakapunta eh. Kanya parang hinihintay dito. Tapos nagsalita ko yung bishop, sabi ng bishop, we need to go back home. Sabi ko, no, 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 pastor, we already have bookings here, you have reservation here. No, the Lord told me, go back home. <laughs> gutom na gutom kami, hindi pa kami kumakain, mga alas otso na yata ng gabi yun. Gutom na gutom na kami, tapos, alam mo yun, tapos babalik ulit another four hours. Sabi ko, uh, sabi ko sa isang driver, hindi sabihin natin, mayroon tayo mo narito. Uh, ito rin natin, kinukonvince namin, ayaw talaga. No, the Lord, the Lord said, go home. <laughs> They're so afraid with the situation. Ano? And natutunan ko. And we were just, hindi, umuwi ko kami. Ano? Umuwi kami, wala kang magawa. Pero talagang pag-uwi ko namin, dumating kami doon. Kumain pa naman kami. Duma dumating kami doon, alas dos na na madaling araw. Pagod na pagod ako. Imagine yung, yung haba ng biyahe po na yung ano ko. And isa po sa mga nakikita ko minsan na uh, situations, sa buhay po natin, pag hindi natin alam yung pupuntahan natin, hindi natin, uh, hindi tayo aware kung ano yung daratan po natin, ang nananaid yung takot. Nagkakaroon tayo ng fear. Thank God ako, yung hope ko at that time, sabi ko, hindi, eto na yung lugar eh. Andito na tayo eh. Kaya alam yung mga first time na yun, na mapunta sa lugar na yun, they're so great with fear. No, the Lord said, let's go home. He gave me the path. Sabi ko, no, we're here. That is the place, beautiful. <laughs> Ayaw na talaga nila. Kasi nalaig na yung takot sa kanila. You know what? Pag alam mo yung inaasahan mo, hindi ka matatakot. Pag alam mo yung lugar, pag alam mo yung bagay na may sinabi sa'yo na, na, na bagay na mangyayari sa'yo, hindi ka matatakot. That is why we... God is teaching us right now. Tinuturuan tayo ng Panginoon, huwag kang matakot sa pag-alaman 2021. Huwag kang matakot na mag-try ulit sa mga bagay na nag-fail ka. Huwag kang matakot. Sabi mo sa tabi mo ka, huwag kang matakot. Because the more we experience hardship in our lives and we overcome it, we will grow. Lumalago tayo sa pag-asa sa Panginoon. Step by step, level by level, tayo po ay nag-i-increase ng ating, ng ating pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. This means we will experience difficulties, but these difficulties in life will help us to grow in God. Palalaguhin ka ng Panginoon. Kaya minsan ng mga tao, kapag ka natakot tapos nag-withdraw, wala nangyayari, you will not grow. But when you still stand on what God said, you will eventually receive and experience the fullness of God's promise in your life. That's why when Paul was in uh, in, in Ephesus, uh, uh, yeah, sabi niya doon sa Acts 14, 22, we must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. We must be willing to go through hardship. Are you going through hardships? Are you experiencing sufferings in your life? Suffering in your health, suffering in your finances, suffering in your relationship, in your marital problems. You know, you have to go through that, sabi niya, so that you may be able to enter the kingdom of God. Of course, you all want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Pero huwag natin pong baliwalain yung mga salita ng Panginoon at mga alituntunin ng Panginoon. Hope grows as we depend on God in difficult times. Habang tayo nagdidependa sa Panginoon, nag-go-grow yan. Habang may situation, nag-go-grow ka sa pagtitiwala mo sa Panginoon. We rejoice in suffering, not because we like, we like pain or we deny uh, its tragedy, 
But because we know God is using these difficulties, even the attack of Satan in our lives, to be able to build our character. Na build ang character sa bawat sufferings, sa bawat problems. The problems that we have, uh, that we have will develop perseverance, which in turn strengthens our character. Deepen our trust in God and give us greater confidence about the future. Kaya sabi po ni James, sa 1 verse 2, Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Why great joy? Eventually you will rejoice after that suffering when you have overcome. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Magiging mature ang pananampalatayang mayroon ka sa Panginoon. And you will not be seeking for anything because you know that your hope in God gives you courage. Even in the hard times, you will be able to overcome. And everybody said, Amen. You have to thank God for those opportunities to grow. Pag meron ka situation, Lord, thank you. I know that there's an opportunity for me to grow again in my faith. May situation ka, Lord, salamat, Panginoon. Alam ko gagawa ka na naman ng himala. Amen. And that's why, let's welcome troubles in our lives. Let's welcome hardships in our lives. Don't make it shortcut. Walang shortcut kay Lord. Hindi mo maiiwasan ng problema. Yung problema yung iiwasan mo, pagdating ng araw, hindi mo makikinabangan kasi sayang yung pagkakataon sana na nung hinarap mo yun, ikaw nilalang. Lalo kang magiging matatang na kristyano. Kaya sabi ni Paul, uh, sorry, si Peter. Peter is a man of suffering. He, he, he knows what suffering means is. Sabi niya, Sa 1 Peter 1.5, God's power protects you through faith until salvation is shown to you at the end time. Sabi niya, it will protect you, your faith, that you will be saved one day when Jesus comes. This makes you very happy even though now, for a short time, different kinds of trouble make you sad. These troubles come to prove that your faith is pure. It tests your faith. Yung mga trobo na yan, dinadali sa yung pananampalataya mo. You know what silver? Yung silver, bago ka, bago ka makita ng makinang na makinang na silver, it must go through the process of fire. Dadaan siya sa darang ng apoy. Matagal, nasusunukin niya yung lahat ng mga impurities ng silver na yun, bago siya maging dalisay at makinang na makinang. Dumaan muna siya sa apoy. You know, Fire speaks of our hardships and sufferings in this life. Let's welcome hardship. Sabi mo nga sa katali mo, let's welcome hardship and suffering. Because when you do so, it gives us courage. Lumala ka sa loob natin. Tumatapang tayo. At umaasa tayong lahat ng mga pangako ng Diyos ay magagapin. Everybody said? Amen. Are we learning? Amen. Thirdly, with hope, Hope guarantees, another power of hope, hope guarantees the promise of the future. The promise of God in the future is sure. Sabi niya sa verse 25, But if we have hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Kung umaasa ka talaga doon sa bagay na hindi mo nakikita, aasahan mo yun. At kinakailangan mo mag-persevere. Perseverance, in Greek word is kukumone. Kukumone is to stand under the pressure. Stand under the difficulties. Stand under the situation. Tatayuan mo yung mga sitwasyon na yan. Dahil yung inaasahan mo, alam mo, pangako yan ng Diyos, tutuparin ng Diyos. Amen. Lahat ng mga ipinangako ng Panginoon sa kanyang salita ay tutuparin niya. Numbers chapter 22, sabi niya, God is not a man that he should lie. He is not a man that promised and does not fulfill. No, when God promised, he fulfills. Yeah. Because he is not a man. He is God. 
So where should you get the promises? Are you going to get the promises from man or from God? I would rather hold on to the promises of God than the promises of man. Because when God speaks, He will certainly fulfill it. Tuto pa rin ng Diyos ang pangako niya sa buhay mo. Yung pangarap mo maging magkaroon ng magandang pamilya, tuto pa rin ng Diyos yun. Yung pangarap mo na magkaroon ka ng magandang future, tuto pa rin ng Diyos yun. Yung lahat ng bagay na itinitiwala mo base doon sa salita ng Panginoon, tuto pa rin yan. So that His name be glorified. So that His name will be exalted. Bakit? Kasi magbabalik ng papuli sa Panginoon yan. Magbabalik ng pasasalamat sa Panginoon. Lord, salamat. Dahil totoo ka sa iyong salita. You know, Joshua said, everything that God has promised, He fulfilled. Not one of God's promises was failed. Everything was fulfilled. Wow. Do you like that? So one day in your life, you will say, pagtanda mo, nagtagpang ako ng Diyos sa buhay ko pinupan niya. Isn't that wonderful? Not one of His promises failed. And that is our hope for. Yan ang dapat namin na asahan sa buhay na ito. It guarantees the promises of the future. Kaya sabi ni Paul sa Romans 15.4, For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction. The true endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. That is the purpose of the scripture. So that we might Put our hope in it. Isinulat yung mga pangyayari ng mga nakaraan, ng mga nauna sa ating mga tao para meron tayong basihan. Meron tayong instruction na kapag kasinunod natin yun, mararanasan natin ang Diyos. Amen. Sino nararanasan mo ang kabutihan ng Diyos? Amen. I can honestly and boldly confess I'm experiencing the goodness of God in my life. Amen. Because God is true to Himself. God is true to His Word. When He promised, He fulfills it. Each and every day, you can always put your hope in God's Word. Because His Word will never fail us. Heaven and earth will fade, but His Word will remain. Mananatili ang salita ng Diyos. So don't lose hope. Let us put our hope in the future because it guarantees in the promises of God. Doon po sa America, some time ago, there was a two person who is a prominent and very wealthy. A very wealthy person who shot to death in their home in Philadelphia. There was the, the wife called the policeman tumawag siya doon sa Presinto, and she told to the policeman that her husband had begged her to kill him. Kanyang, uh, kanyang isinusumbong na uh, gusto niyang barilin, ang, uh, barilin siya, ng, uh, mag, magpabaril siya, magpabaril yung asawa niya sa kanya. And she did. Binaril niya yung kanyang asawa. And she also said to the policeman, Now, I have already killed my husband. I will also kill myself. So, nagbaril siya sa sarili niya. Agad pupunta yung mga polis doon sa bahay, hinanap nila. And when they opened the house, indeed, the two bodies found dead. And habang sinasali sila, nakita nila doon sa isang tabi, ang isang suicide note. You know what was written in the suicide note? Nakasulat, We have no hope for the future. The reason why they killed themselves is that they have no hope for the future. How sad that many people have lost hope for the future. I also remember when I was still in in Hope Caritas. I was one of the counselor. And meron ho doon isang pamilya na hindi nila hindi natahala yun. Isang pamilya dito sa Macau. 
na galing sa ibang bansa. Pagkasawa, may dalawang anak na lalaki, isang 21 years old at isang 24 years old. Lahat sila sa isang hotel uminom ng pills. The problem, namatay yung asawang lalaki, namatay yung bunsong anak, pero yung kuya niya, nabuhay pa, nagdala sa ICU, at saka yung nanay nasa ICU. So nag-aagaw buhay yung dalawa, yung panganay na anak at saka yung nanay sa ICU. Nang ilang panahon, eventually, after a month, namatay yung anak na lalaki. So tatlo na. Ang isa na lamang na nabubuhay, yung babae. At yung babae, inalagaan ng karitas ko. Hindi ko alam kung nandito pa sila. Matagal na pinupuntahan sa hospital at kinakawang sila. You know what is the reason for all those? They lose hope for the future. How sad that people lose hope for the future when we have a living God. When we have a God who can be depend on in this life. You know, sabi ni Job, Job 8.13, people who forget God are like that. Those who oppose Him will have no hope. Meaning, only those who do not trust in God will have no hope for the future. And we must be grateful and thankful because God has already shown it to us. Ipinakilala na ng ating Panginoon ang reason na pumunta dito kayo sa Kristo. Kaya nga tayo nagsasaya sa panahon ng Disyembre sa alam natin, hindi man natin alam yung exact date ng kanyang kapanganakan, pero alam natin na siya ipinanganak. Amen. At dahil doon tayo may pag-asa. Nagdala ng pag-asa sa sangkatauhan. Kaya sabi ni Paul doon sa 1 Thessalonians 4.13, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep so that you will not grieve as the rest who have no hope. Huwag tayong maging kagaya ng mga tao walang pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Because only those who do not hope in God will grieve. Those who do not trust Jesus will grieve in His life. Even Job understands that. Kaya sinabi ni Job doon, people who forget God are like that. Those who oppose Him have no hope. Because Job, even when he had gone through a lot of suffering, at the end of the day of his life, God restored everything in his life. His family, his children, his wealth, his riches, and the Bible says it even doubled dinoble ng Panginoon nung inirestore ang mga bagay bagay sa kanya. Kapatid, kaya gawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Ano man yung mga ninakaw ng kaaway sa buhay mo, kaya i-restore ng Diyos. Makadalawang ulit pa nito. God, yung joy na nawala sa buhay mo, God can restore it even double in your life. Masisigla, masasaya ang buhay mo pag muli kang aasa kay Kristo sapagkat walang sa kanya nagtiwala ang nadisapoy. Lahat ay pinagpala ng Panginoon. Para sa kanya ng Diyos na Hallelujah! Lord God! Lord God! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! And as we close, what guarantees our hope for the future? Ano bang garantiya nito? Ba't natin nasasabing may pag-asa sa future? Number one is hope that is built on a trust relationship with God. So when we were singing at the song a while ago, I will build my life upon your love and I will not be shaken. You know, when you put your hope, your trust, when you build your life in Christ, you will never be shaken. And Solomon recognized God is the only source of assurance for the future. You know, the, if you are going to read the, the life of Solomon, he, he experienced everything from riches and all of his plans and all of his projects. Well, everything. He was very wealthy. There is none, sabi ka other, who lived like the splendor of Solomon. 
Walang walang naging katulad yung splendor ng pamumuhay ni Solomon. Sabi ng Bible, but at the end of the day, sabi niya sa Psalm 71 verse 3, For you have been my hope, O sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Habang bata pa pala si Solomon, he already put his hope in God. Remember when God made him king over Israel? God asked him, what do you want me to do for you, Solomon? And Solomon said, Lord, since you have given me this vast uh, uh, kingdom to rule, then give me a discerning heart that I may be able to rule and govern your people. He has a good heart. He knows that with his own strength, he cannot do anything. With his own knowledge, he cannot prevail. And so he asked God that God would give him the wisdom to rule. You know, in this life, you need God Amen. to give you the wisdom how to overcome your situation. Amen. You need God's wisdom to lead you, lead your feeling, lead your emotion, lead your situation. Lead your family, lead your ministry, everything. You need God so that you may be successful. At magaganap po ito dahil mayroon tayong tiwala at ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. Only God controls your future. Only God has a place for us This uh, uh, for us that is eternal. Only God has given uh, who have given us life forevermore. And so that's why we can always depend on what God had said. Salvation comes through our Lord Jesus Christ, believing He will do for us what He has promised. Hope is expecting that we will give, He will give us everlasting life and that we will live with Him forever. That's why we put our hope in everything to the Lord our God. So our hope are not idle hopes, but built on the solid foundation of our relationship to our Lord Jesus Christ. Secondly, what guarantees our hope for the future? Hope that is fastened in the promises of God, meaning in the Word of God. You know what God says for you and for me in Jeremiah 29 11? Let's all read. I alone knows the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about the future you hope for. The plan of God for you and for me is to fulfill the word that He promised in your life. The word you hope for. Ano ba yung inaasahan mo sa mga pangako ng Diyos, kapatid? God is going to fulfill you. His plan is to prosper you. Prosper does not only speak of financial prosperity. It speaks of the wholeness of your, of your, of your spirit and your, uh, and your soul. He wants you to be full of God's goodness. Knowing God as a plan for your life brings hope for the future. Lagi kang makakaasa. Sabi ng Isaiah 42 verse 1, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nation. This is the prophecy of hope. The prophecy of the coming of Messiah during that year of around 600 years ago before the coming of the Messiah. It was prophesied by Isaiah. In his law, verse 4, he will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his law, the islands will put their own. In the word of the Lord, in the promises of the Lord, the people will put their hope in him. And that is why we are blessed because we have known the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And in prophecy, Fulfillment in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Sabi niya, she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. The name Jesus means Savior. 
he will save his people because he was the prophesied hope for everyone. Yeah. Why? Because without hope, we will all fail. We will all be discouraged. But those who hope in the Lord, they will not be disappointed. Yeah. Let us all stand.